Hello, and welcome to the Black World of Physics. Today we're going to be talking about Bernoulli's Principle. We're going to be talking about pressure and volume and how they relate. So if you want to perform this experiment at home today, all you need is a funnel. Uh, I recommend a hard plastic one. If you have the soft ones, they work, but not nearly as well. Uh, I would also recommend a ping pong ball. If you don't have access to a ping pong ball, a tennis ball will do in a pinch. So in order to do this, you put the ping pong ball into the funnel. What's going to happen is you're going to push air through. You can either uh, cheat like I'm going to do in a moment using an air compressor, or you can just blow through with the tube, which I'll show you what that looks like as well. In doing so, you push airflow through. You generate a lot of pressure on this side, and there's lower pressure on this side, but what happens is that the uh, air is moving much, much faster. So, in doing so, instead of the ball shooting out like a cannon, what should happen, if you think about it, if you put a blast of air through, you would think that the ping pong ball would shoot out. Truth is, it doesn't. What happens is there's low pressure generated on the bottom of the ping pong ball, and it's actually sucked into the tube. And we'll explain how this gets applied to uh, other places in a moment. So, in order to prove this, all you need to do is to literally take the ping pong ball in the cup, and blow. So like I said, we're going to cheat ever so slightly. This is, uh, this is an air gun attached to an industrial air compressor. Um, as Bill and I would put it, the industrial air compressor of science. And in using this, what we're going to do is get a continuous stream of air out of the nozzle and put it through the funnel. And in doing so, we're going to be able to demonstrate not only what it looks like as it goes through vertically, but I can also point it towards the camera, and you can see that the ping pong ball has enough low pressure under it to pull it into the cup so that it won't actually fall out. Right, so as we zoom in, uh, again, apologies for the noise. As said before, you can do this with a tennis ball as well. It doesn't work as well with a tennis ball. The reason for that is uh, it, it doesn't generate quite as much air pressure. However, the principle is identical. If you give it just a blast, it doesn't actually shoot the tennis ball out. But if I try and turn it towards the camera like I did with the ping pong ball, unfortunately, it will just fall out. However, uh, it, will be stay, it will stay into the cup uh, up until that point. Now, to understand the physics behind this, what we need to look at is Bernoulli's Principle. Now, people understand Bernoulli's Principle. People know about Bernoulli's Principle, but don't actually know that they understand it. Here's what it is. It's actually a reasonably simple concept that is exploited quite often every day. If you've ever stuck your thumb over the end of a garden hose, that's Bernoulli's Principle. What happens is, is that there's water coming out of the garden hose, you stick your thumb over the end of it, what happens? The water shoots out very, very quickly. What you're doing is you're generating higher pressure on this side at lower velocity because the water isn't allowed to move as fast. As it comes through where your thumb is, it generates much higher velocity. Shower heads do the exact same thing. They will make a small hole for the water to come through so it generates higher pressure in the hose but doesn't generate as much velocity. As it goes through that tiny little hole in the shower head, then the water shoots out at you, so it's not actually higher pressure that you're feeling, it's higher velocity of water that you're feeling. So to look at Bernoulli's principle in more detail, we look at it from this way. When you have a large diameter of, say, a water pipe, you have a considerably higher amount of pressure as the water builds up on this side. As it narrows down, this water in here, this narrow section of pipe, will move much, much quicker, but be under much lower pressure. So the velocity of it will be much higher, and 
the pressure will be much lower here and much higher here. The other way this is uh, exploited on a reasonably daily basis is this concept that if you look at it end on is what an airplane wing looks like. Now how this works is as the airplane is moving at speed going that direction the air will go underneath it and it is not moved out of the way. The air going over the top of the wing however has to move out of the direction. It has to change its direction and move out of the way of the wing. That generates a lower pressure up here because this has to move faster to catch up to where it was before. So it has to move faster to get over the wing, generating a lower pressure. Here, same thing with the garden hose. So this air is moving quicker and therefore it is lower pressure. What that does is that generates a force pulling the airplane up into the air, just like the ping pong ball where the air had to move around the ping pong ball to get out of the funnel. The air has to move out of the way here, it has to move faster in order to do so, and therefore it creates lower pressure, pulling the airplane up into the sky. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel.